Look at the pain you've caused me, Desdemona. Forcing my hand to take your life. I will not scar or cut your fair white skin, but you must die or else you might betray more men. Like a rose, your life must wither, although your warm breath persuades me. Mm. One more, I will kill you and love you long after. Let me have this one final kiss. Mm. Your sweetness was fatal. I loved you and for that I will cry, but they are selfish tears. Who's there? Othello? Yes, my love. It's late. Come lay down. Have you prayed tonight, Desdemona? Yes. Why? If you think you have committed any crimes, you must make it right. Huh? I would not kill an unprepared spirit, after all. Are you talking about murder? Yeah. God have mercy on me. Amen with all my heart. Please don't kill me. I'm not guilty of anything. Think about it, Desdemona. Babe, what's wrong? You're biting your lips so hard it's bleeding. The handkerchief. I trusted you, and you gave it to Cassio, whore. No, I didn't. Ask him. Don't worry about it. You will join him in the nether soon. Lies. I never loved Cassio. I never gave him the handkerchief. I saw the handkerchief in his hand, you wench, enchanting my heart with poison three, even on your deathbed. He must have found it because I never gave it to him. Please, call him and let him tell you the truth. He told me that you said he could place his bed next to yours. And besides, he's already dead. Honest Iago took care of him. What? Cassie and I are innocent. <laughs> Whore, you're crying for him in front of me? Please let me go. Kill me tomorrow, but not tonight. Please. It's too late to beg, Desdemona. Huh? <laughs> Othello? Othello? Not dead yet? I hoped your death would be painless. Hello? Who's there? It's me, Amelia. I have to speak with you. Is she finally dead? Should I let Amelia in? She must be coming to tell me Cassia was dead. What should I do? If she comes in, she will surely talk to my wife. Wife? What wife? I have no wife. I don't mean to be rude, but I really need to talk with you. I- Oh, Amelia! I forgot you were there. Come in. Hello? Someone has been killed. What? Now? Cassio stabbed a young Venetian named Rod Rodrigo. Rodrigo killed? And is Cassio dead? No. Cassio is alive. That doesn't make any sense. Cassio's alive? Falsely murdered. Was that cry Desdemona? I heard her voice. Desdemona, talk! I die an innocent death. Who did this to you? I brought this upon myself. Goodbye. <gasps> I killed her. She is a liar who will burn in the nether. She was an angel, and you a blacker devil. She was a whore. You must believe her. She was false as water. You are being too harsh. Everything she said was true. Cassio and her were having an affair. Ask your husband, Iago. He knows everything. My husband? He said that she cheated? Your husband. If only the world had been pure, perhaps our relationship would have worked out. My husband? Yes, Iago. An honest man who hates unfaithful filth. My husband. Yes, I said your husband. So did Iago actually say that they slept together? Yeah, are you stupid? Do you not understand what husband means? My friend, your husband, honest, honest Iago. Desdemona would never do such a thing. If Iago is spreading these rumors, he's a liar. Let him rot. Do your worst. Killing me won't change your ignorance. Help me! The Moor has murdered Desdemona! Help me! What's going on? Look at what a good job you've done, Iago. Othello is blaming his crimes on you. What a master manipulator you are. What's the matter? 
Tell him he's wrong. He said that you told him Desdemona was cheating on him, but I know you wouldn't do something like that. I only shared my opinions with him. He took what I said and ran with it. But did you ever tell him she was unfaithful? I did. So you lied. You told a nasty lie, saying that she slept with Cassio? Did you say Cassio? Yes, with Cassio, female. Now shut up. No, I am not going to shut up. I will keep speaking because Desdemona is lying here dead. <gasps> and your little lies started all of this. No need to stare. It's true. She is dead, not asleep. This is getting weird. Oh my god, what a monster! I'm going to kill myself because of this grief. I can feel the villainy in every part of this room. I can smell it. What? Are you crazy? When we get home, I'm gonna beat you. I would normally listen to you, Iago, but not now. I will let my voice be heard, and perhaps I'll never return home with you. Oh my god. No. Get up and scream. Sweet Desdemona is lying here dead, and here you are crumbling. I barely know you, Graciano, but here lies your niece, who I murdered just moments ago. I know this act is grim, but she was foul. Oh, Desdemona, I'm glad your father is dead. He would be rolling over his grave right now. It is quite pitiful, but Iago knows that she and Cassio slept together thousands of times. Not only did Cassio confess this to me, but I also saw the antique handkerchief that was in my family in his hand. Oh, God. Damn. Shut up, woman. No, I will talk. You can't stop me. How about you make the right decision and take yourself home? No, I am not going to do that. <laughs> Disgusting. Pulling a sword on a woman? Oh, you stupid man. That handkerchief you're talking about, I found it and gave it to Iago. He begged me to steal it. You evil whore. She gave it to Cassio? No, I found it and gave it to my husband. Lies. I am not lying. You villain! He has killed his wife. Ugh, lay me beside Desdemona. He killed his wife in cold blood and ran. What a coward! I will chase after the villain. You watch the door with the weapon we got and do not let Othello pass. Kill him if he tries. Can you hear me, Desdemona? I will play a song for you. Othello, she was pure. She loved you. Let me be- let me die being honest. <gasps> they don't know I have another weapon. A sword from the snowy biome of the north. Oh, here it is. Tucked away in a chest. Graziano, I need to talk to you. Come here. I must remind you, if you try anything, I will kill you. You have no weapon, and you are powerless. Just come in here and talk to me! What? Aha! I have a sword, but don't be afraid. My journey will end here. Where else would I go? Oh, how you look now, Desdemona. Pale as a ghast and cold. I should be removed from this heavenly sight and brought up to the nether. Whip me, you devils, and drown me in lava. Oh, Desdemona. Dead Desdemona! Where is this unstable man? That would be me, Othello. Or at least, that's who I once was. Where is that snake? Bring him here! As I look toward your pixelated body, I realize that you're Herobrine. If so, I cannot kill you, but I will try. Take his sword away from him, now! I might have a heart, but I am not dead. I have no regrets. Othello, you were once an honorable general, but look at you now. You have become a damned slave. How will you be remembered? An honorable murderer. I did everything in honor. He has confessed his villainy. Did you worth work with Iago to try and kill Cassio? Yes. General, I never betrayed you. I now believe it, and I ask for you to forgive me. Iago was a demi-devil like the Wither, infesting my body and soul. You know what you know, and I will never speak again. Torment will open your lips. If we hurt you enough, you will speak. Othello, I found these letters in the inventory of the slain Rodrigo. 
One of them had the original plan that Rodrigo was to kill Cassio. Villain! Here's another discontented paper found in his inventory. It seems that Iago came to the battle and stabbed Cassio. Cassio, that handkerchief, was that my wife's? I found it in my room. Iago confessed that he dropped it there for a special reason, which brought upon this tragedy. Oh, what an idiot I am. We also found in Rodrigo's letter that he was manipulated by Iago. <laughs> Othello, you must come with us. You have been stripped of your power and Cassio will take over Cyprus. You will be a prisoner and your crimes will be known to the Venetian state. Bring him away. Before we go, I want to acknowledge my military service to the state. Speak of me as the general the country knows me as. Speak of me honestly in my battles across the biomes. This is all I ask. All his accomplishments are ruined. I kissed you before I took away your life, and now I will die upon this kiss. Ooh! I assumed he had no weapons, but I feared this fate. Look at this mess you've caused! The marriages you've torn apart! This is your work, you- you ravager! Gra Graciano, keep this house and seize the fortunes of the Moor, for they outlive you. Governor, take the place of these hellish villain. I will go to the state and explain the tragedy of Othello. 